Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. A small office home router, also known as a Soho router, is simple in design, but its basic routing functions are similar to those of more sophisticated routers. Thus, knowing how it works helps to understand how a router delivers IP packets in general. Take a look at this diagram. The home router directly connects two networks. On the left side is home local area network. On the right side is the ISP local network represented by the building. The ISP is then connected to other networks, for example, the internet. Thus, the Soho router is not directly connected to the internet, even though you feel that way. If any destination IP address is to the internet, an ISP gateway will be needed. Let's look at this home router a little bit closer. The router is a simple box with many functions. It's a switch, a router, and a wireless access point. And its main function is to route IP packets between your home local network and the network of the internet service provider, and beyond. The four ports on the left are LAN ports and they are used to connect home computers and other devices on home local network. It's like a switch hidden inside. On the right side is one port, a port connecting the internet provider's network. The one port component is like router hidden inside. Most home router nowadays is also wireless router, and you don't have to plug your computers to the physical LAN ports. Besides, many home routers also have a built-in modem. Thus, a router connects your computers to a DSL receiver or cable modem, depending on the type of services provided by your ISP. The Soho router is simple in both design and functions but its basic routing principle is the same as that of more sophisticated enterprise-level routers. Connecting two different networks, one side is the LAN side, the other side is the one side. On any router, there's always two types of ports, LAN and WAN ports. From software perspective, they are called interfaces. The router inspects each packet destination IP address and then sends IP packet out to the correct port. But how does the router know which port should be used? The answer is routing table, the software side of the router. Routing table. Each router comes with a routing table that tells the router exactly where to send the packets. The routing table here is one example of typical home router. There are four columns, network destination, network mask, gateway, and interface. There are three different rows, three different routes on three different conditions. Network destination. Every network ID directly connected to one of the router's ports is always listed here. Netmask. Netmask is the same as subnet mask. A router uses a subnet mask to determine a network ID. In other words, a netmask is a tool to tell whether a destination IP address is local or remote. The home router uses a combination of network destination and net mask to see if a packet matches that route. 
Gateway. Gateway refers to the IP address for the next router, where the package should go. If the outgoing packet is for the network that is not directly connected to the router, the gateway column tells the home router the IP address of the next router. The next router then handles the packet, and your home router is done. Interface. Interfaces are software representations of physical ports. It tells the router which of the ports to use. This router uses terms LAN or WAN. On Cisco routers, you may use F0 slash 0, F0 slash 1, and so on. There are three rows, and each row defines a single route. This routing table is a key to understanding the process of forwarding packets to their proper destination. Let's take a look at the routing table with the whole picture. For example, if you had a packet with a destination IP address 10.10.10.16 coming into the router, the router checks the network ID with a net mask. It would quickly determine the packet matches the first route. Since the network with the network ID 10.10.10.0 is directly linked with this router, so no gateway is needed. That's why the gateway IP address is set to 0.0.0.0, and the interface is set to LAN side. The second row, 74.10.10.0 combined with the net mask 255.255.255.0 means any IP address belongs to the network ID 74.10.10.0. No gateway is needed, and the interface is set to the one side because this network is ISP network on the one side side is also directly connected to the home router. The third row is very interesting. The destination network is 0 .0 .0 .0, 0.0.0.0 and the net mask is also 0, .0, .0, .0. The combination means anything else. If any destination IP does not match that of the first row or the second row, it will deliver to the gateway 74.10.10.1, and the interface is 1. Thus, the third row simply means if any destination IP address does not match either the first row or the second row, ISP's gateway is needed. The third row is a default route for the Internet. One trick to reading network destination and net mask in a routing table is to remember that a zero means anything. A third route is a default route for any destination IP address with any subnet mask. The next router will be 74.10.10.1. The interface is the one port. These three routes can handle every destination IP address. If you want to know how subnet mask is used to determine the network ID, I put the video link below this video. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.